Will the Sonics come back from Seattle, come back to Seattle? That is the question everyone is talking about. Even though uh, Portland is playing and LA is playing, all you see is Sonics jerseys out here. That is truly the talk of the stadium. Sources within Climate Pledge tell me tonight is not the night. They say the NBA will not be announcing anything about a Sonics extension or an NBA extension team here in Seattle. But nonetheless, the buzz is there. This is actually our best selling hat ever. The hats and shirts keep selling, which is pretty amazing considering the Sonics no longer exist. Haven't played a game in more than 14 years. Great fan base and you know, it's just, just through the power of the fans that the Sonics brand has stayed alive. For retailer Simply Seattle, the brand is still very much alive, as is the dream of one day having the Sonics back in Seattle, a mission that former Sonics head coach George Carl is spearheading. I think we're all dedicated to try hard to do the right things to get the Sonics back in town. Carl is back in Seattle for Monday's NBA exhibition game between the Clippers and the Blazers, and that's a big deal. He's considered one of the best coaches the Sonics ever had, and he remains a fan favorite to this day. So anytime he's in town, it's, you know, it's a big event. A chance for the city to yet again prove to NBA ownership that they're ready for a team of their own. Well, my mind is it, it's, an, it's, a, it's a win. But uh, again, the process is not in my hands. The process a little bit is in the league, but I think the fans of Seattle can show the league that we're, we're ready to bring them back. I think the Kraken has shown, I think, most of the world that expansion to Seattle can work and will work. Tonight's game may be in the same physical location, but the arena is hardly the same as where the Sonics play. The year we beat Utah in Game 7 is probably the number one memory. <clears throat> the great, one of the best games I think I've ever been involved with. A $1.5 billion renovation and an NHL team later. Fans and this former coach say they know it's only a matter of time before professional basketball makes a new permanent home in the Emerald City. Well, here's some more Seattle trivia for you. The last event that Key Arena hosted was actually an NBA game. That was in 2018. It was the Warriors and the Kings, another exhibition game there. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.